is it preferable to have design build in-house, architecture, design, and construction, or to outsource those? So we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of both in this video. First, let's talk about the pros and cons of being a full service design build contractor. This is where you have architecture in-house, design in-house, and of course, construction. So some of the pros are that you control the process. You have a lot of say in regard to the budget, the design. It's a much better system as far as communication because everything's internal, right? Architecture, speaking to design, speaking to construction. So you're working as a team, you're making sure that what you're designing will fit the budget. You're making sure that all the elements will in fact work. You know, the architecture firm is worried about the end construction because it's in-house. So there's gonna be a lot of steps to manage throughout design to make sure everything speaks to each other and everything's laid out. Uh, one of the advantages as well for a lot of customers is they see this is a one-stop shop, right? They come to one firm, it's all taken care of, there's not other parties to manage, so it's easier from a communication. Well, the con is a lot of times that it really limits you on the clientele. It limits you on uh, the ability to do different designs. You know, it's very difficult to have a, a design build firm that's doing contemporary, doing modern, doing modern farmhouse, transitional, traditional, Tuscan, all these different styles, it's very hard to encap encapsulate and do all of these. So it, it limits you on your ability out there in the market, also the reciprocity, it limits your reciprocity, it limits that network as you're collaborating with other design firms and other architects. So, you know, to work with that team, that reciprocity, that job security, a little bit more difficult to find leads. You're finding all the leads yourself in-house marketing. So let's talk about the other way to do it, which is, uh, our, our way, and, and this is we're a true general contract and we're not handling in-house design, we're not handling in-house architecture, and we've chosen to collaborate with architecture firms and design firms. So one of the pros is that reciprocity we mentioned. This allows us now that we can go out and we can work with a lot of different firms. We, can, we know the architects that are good that we've worked with and have great relationships. We know the great designers we work with, so we can refer each other. If the designer gets the lead first, they can bring us in as the contractor because of that positive working relationship. If we're in, we can bring in that design team, you know, and we can really vet the client to understand their style, their budget, and make sure we have the right team. So job leads becomes a much better uh, resource because now we're all working together as a collaboration. One of the other pros is that, you know, it allows us to diversify our portfolio. We can work on a very modern and contemporary home. We can work on a transitional home, a Tuscan home. Because we're working with different architects and designers that have different tastes and styles, we can now build our resume to showcase that we've done work in these different arenas, which now allows a customer base much larger because we've worked in these different styles and architecture um, designs. So that allows us a lot more versatility as a builder. Um, one of the cons, and this is where it's really important for us to have a lot of strength and systems and communication, because one of the cons goes back to the competitive way of a design build firm is there's a lot of personality and a lot of decisions being made at pre-construction. And it's sometimes very difficult to make sure that builder, designer, architect are all speaking the same language and coordinating that construction process. So that's where it's really important to get on early with the client, with the team, and make sure that you're coordinating and communicating budget and mechanical design, making sure to run through the trust system and all these little nuances that go into the construction process, make sure that you have a strong communication and relationship with your designers and architects to at least minimize the impacts to the budget or plan bust or things that will not work in the field because you didn't think about it beforehand. So consider all those things, find out what's best for you in your market. In our market, it's been very advantageous for us to be a true GC and operate. You know, we've been asked, why don't you do design and architecture in house? something we will not do, and the reason being that relationship, that versatility, and that exposure, and then again, the ability to work on these different projects that our team loves, the daily challenge on each and every project.